All right, so I just pulled up to the old house. <laughs> uh, let me see, it's 4.30. So I think my appointment time with her for the walkthrough is 4.45. So I'm just about to go through, cause I know for sure I left something, but I'm just about to like do my quick little walkthrough. Enter, this is the living room. Let me zoom out so y'all can see everything. Okay, so this is the living room. That ugly box was not there when we moved in. They doing AT&T fiber now or something. And they doing a deal via Spectrum. So like I used to pay $80, then it went up to $110, then it went up to like $124 the last two months I was here. They gonna send an email like literally two weeks before I moved and say, that, hey, um, we got Spectrum through us now. So it's like only $55 a month, but you have to go through the sign up prices and get signed up first. And then they switch you, and then you have to cancel your individual plan with Spectrum. So, yeah. I was like, well, ain't that some bullshit? I've been paying all this money. So they may charge me for that stuff. Um, but that's just a paint, so hopefully not. That's the closet. Then we got the patio. I think my husband said we left the chair out here. Yeah, we left that, that chair. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. I don't want them. I'm actually going to throw it away. Like, I, I don't even want to put it in my car. So, you know what? I'm just going to leave it here. I wonder if she would charge me for a trash out. Because I, I don't want that shirt. I don't want to put it in my car. Uh, yeah. Okay, then you walk over here. And you have the dining room. These little spots, I have no idea what that is. Because we didn't have nothing leaned up against the walls. So I have no idea what that is. And there's a little bit of scuff marks. Y'all probably can't see, though. And you walk over here to the dining room. The floors look much better. Probably could do the second one, but and then that I think that's like a great spot. I'm not sure, but this is the dining room. And then turn on all the lights. Probably should have washed that wall because it's a little dirty. Then we got the kitchen. We opened up everything. The sink that I hate. Cause then no matter how much I clean it, it did not stay clean. And then the hard water stains would always come up. So I hate this sink so bad. Uh, that makes you nothing under here. That helped. That um, came from my shelf liner. So if you get shelf liner, I guess just be careful. But whatever. I'm not really like complaining too much about it. And this is the pantry. And then let me close this. Look. Then over here we have the trash can. But this is like like a little utility closet. So I just kept like my brooms and stuff in here. The trash can, stuff like that. Um, so let me open it because I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing else that I need. Then the refrigerator. And the ice. A freezer. And then over here you have the washer and dryer that I absolutely hate. I think I showed this in another video, but I'm going to show it again. This is inaccurate. They should not be having this snake in. When we first moved in here, because well, I don't know if I said it, but when we first moved in here, the dryer, we had to run it two times. By the time we left and I was doing laundry, it doesn't matter what I was doing. I didn't, I wasn't overfilling it. I had to run this dryer four times for my clothes to get dry. I'm not exaggerating. And, and me and my husband don't have blue jeans. We just got regular clothes and my comforter had to run four times, which obviously a comforter is bigger. But for me to have to do my towels and just my regular clothes and have to run this dryer four freaking times was insane. So yeah, that's one thing I absolutely hate. And there's a sock over there, but whatever. Um, and then let me show y'all the so that's the silver, and that's a water spot damage. Then we have this down here is damaged. Then we have this down here is water damage as well. Um, this right here, my dog chewed on, so of course they're probably gonna charge me for that. And then this is the room, the second bedroom that I was staying in. I didn't check the windows, but let me show y'all the windows real quick. So this is what I had to deal with. <clears throat> mold in the window. I don't want to get too close. And then the mold that they cleaned, they grew back. It did in the closet. So this is the closet. Oh, that happened because of the water leak, you guys. So what is this up here? I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it's trash. So, um, this must have came off my shoe. But, yeah, let me have it get out this room. Because WTF, and then here's the master. 
Master. I don't think it's too much damage in here. I mean, I forgot to take the staples at the wall, but whatever, they can do it. And then let me do the windows while I'm here. The window seal. This one doesn't have as much mold. It's kind of dark in here. Okay, so this one doesn't have as much mold, but it's cracked right there. Because at one point it was a lot of mold, but he cleaned it off. It don't look like a lot grew back, but there's mold in here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can see it, but let me see if I turn on my light. Oh, it's not letting me do it while I do extra wide. Hold on, let me see. Okay, there we go. So now y'all can see it. Um, and then so here's a, another grease stain <laughs> from my husband's pillow. He was like, what is that? Now here's the closet, y'all. This was a small closet, but we made it work. I had like a little built-in, not a built-in, but like a little tote shelf thing right here. And so that's what I have for that. Our closet now is much bigger. I love it. And then, you know, so there's one light bulb she's going to charge me for. And then I don't know what's going on with this down here. But, yeah, we have that. And then we have the restroom. Yeah, I probably should have ran a mop one more time. I don't know why we left in my toilet tissue. I really want to come back for this. I need to get another one. Um, but, yeah, this one right here, I don't know what's going on with this. The nail, I tried to fix it, but I think the hole is too big. So, they're going to have to do that themselves. And then this right here, I don't want to show y'all too much. But the drain plug, the drain stopper got stuck. And then here is the other one. I put it in this little thing. So yeah, I'm gonna tell her like here's the other drain stopper. It got it got stuck, and I think I yanked it out because I got mad. Um, but make sure there's nothing else in here. But yeah, that's the end of. It. My shoes um, and then this is the closet that we had as our linen closet. Why do I have so much random stuff in here? Okay. And then last but not least, I'm gonna show y'all the shower. Well, let me go ahead and get my thing off the wall first. But yeah, this shower, we're gonna get up close and personal. I'm mad that I even had to clean it, but I had to because it looked a mess and I hope that they do replace the shower. I'm gonna show y'all the silver too real quick because that's me. So it's one, two, three, four, five light bulbs are there, so that's our $25 that I'm paying. Let's hope this don't take no tape off. I mean no paint off. like pops your hand or whatever and i'm scared of these and my mama had said something the other day i mean not the other day but one time she was like i've always i've always been scared of you know when you make like um those rolls to come up in the thing and you have to like pop it i've always been scared of those even though i know it's not gonna hurt me nothing i'm just i still get scared a little bit <laughs> when it pops so um yeah let me show y'all the shower real quick Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Oh, it doesn't really, it doesn't look too bad, but it was bad, bad. Okay, let me see. Okay, so first of all, let me show y'all this. It, I was, I don't know, I walked in one day and there was a big old bubble up there and it came down and I called them. They didn't even do nothing about it. So, water was leaking from the wall. So, I know in fact there's mold behind there. It's not showing, but it has to be mold because it was a big bubble. And then up there, that's previous. All of that was here before we got here. So, let me... All of that was here before we got here. And I don't know if those little black spots are mold or not, but I guarantee you it is because that means this is not the first time because you can even see the old, you know, so that looks like a newer leak. But my thing is like, yeah, I'm just pissed off about that. Like, I dealt with it, but it got worse and worse. So let me show y'all at the very bottom because I, I wasn't about to clean this. You probably can't even see it. But, oh, yeah, you see it. That's mold. And I wasn't about to clean it because it been like that. And then you have all of this caulking is mold. All up in here, what is that? What is that? What is that? And then all this caulking around here 
and then that I cleaned that up there it was dirty um but even like on the underside I don't know what that is maybe that's mold and you can't see but in the crevices right here that is mold in there because I had got a brush and I was cleaning it and you can see it just pouring out now I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do this I think I need to take this out my tripod so y'all can see what I mean this this is the disgusting part so as you can see the shower is not one piece because they have water gets in there i don't know who designs a shower like this but water gets in there so mold under here y'all see that and that goes all the way around it's like a little lip i don't know i don't know what it is it's dark but it's nasty so but all of that is um it's a lip under there because I've gotten a towel and stuff under there and I'm like scrubbing and scrubbing. It's just all this black stuff here. Pink, the pink mode, I guess. Fun. I don't know what that is, what it's called when it's pink. But all of that was coming out. Um, my, yeah, my bathtub is pretty cool. I mean, there's places where they need to do extra caulking and hopefully they see it like it's cracked. Uh, that was... What time is it? Because I'm ready for her to come on. And then I'm going to ask her like 442. So she should be knocking on the door real quickly. Because just being in here, I'm already starting to get a headache. So there's like five lights. And then all these lights in there are working. So, oh, well, one of them is out. So, um, yeah, I told my husband to wish me luck and see how much it's going to be with the charges and stuff. But I'm going to show her that mode in the closet. And I'm just going to tell her, like, I'm not like, I literally, you guys. I got brain fog in like February. I, I was getting brain fog sometime after this flooded. I can't remember if, if this area by the washing machine flooded in January or February, but I remember it. So it had to be probably March when I started getting brain fog and I called the office. <sighs> and the whole time I thought it was the mold in the window. Come to find out, it's the mold in the closet that I didn't even know about. Okay, she's walking over here, so I'm about to get ready to go. But it's the mold in the closet. That I didn't know about, so I'm gonna show her that. But bye.